Welcome everyone, my name is Lindy Sharis, and in this video I'll show you how to withdraw from Mining City to Coin Bene and then to your local bank account. So this is a video requested by someone from YouTube comment and then first thing first you need to set up your wallet address. I'll do that quickly so that I can show you for those who didn't set up their wallet address and then you go to settings and then after settings you go to coin banner to get the wallet address for btcv and i'll be using btcv but you can do this for electric cash as well and then you go to funds just to show you from start you go to funds and then you select btcv and then after selecting btcv you select deposits because we're going to deposit to coin banner from mining city and then it will show you a wallet address which you will copy this wallet address is what you will put uh, in your mining city account so this is mine which I already put and then you'll have to confirm with an email to show that you are approving adding this wallet address so now that we have our wallet address the next step we're going to actually do the withdrawal for those who do not know so you go to the wallet address you want to withdraw from and then you will go and select the number of um, the amount actually of btcv and type it at the bottom if you're withdrawing everything you can also withdraw half if you want and then you click withdraw and then you do need to note that coinbenner has changed their wallet address so you need to go back and check the wallet address and get the latest wallet address because if you don't do that it will go to the old address and the money won't appear in coinben but if you haven't done this before then you can just go ahead and take the wallet address that is in coinben and then you need to go to your email address and confirm your withdrawal and this might take a day sometimes few hours depending on when you did the withdrawal and then the money that you have withdrawn from mining city it will now move to coin banner and then you go to funds and then go to assets and then the money should appear on this list so for mine um i have um actually electric cash on my btcv i don't have my so i'll use electric cash to show you what to do so you go to funds and then you will see that as well so now you do need to note that um coin banner work with with pairs so uh, electric cash will work with usdt and then bitcoin vault as well will work with usdt meaning you have to convert your btcv to uh, usdt and then from usdt to btc and then you will transfer to your wallet address so let's just look at the pair for electric cash and to see whether it works with usdt or usd so we see it is working with usdt so you can straightly uh, click this pair or you can just go back and search for the pair again or under market so i'm selecting uh, electric cash again and then i'll click the pair this is just to convert so this is the conversion part that you need to do and you need to make sure that it is electric cash at the top and then from there you need to sell your electric cash to usdt so you scroll down so that you can select the total amount the whole amount and then you click uh, uh sell electric cash and that operation is done when you go to your asset now you'll see that um, there's nothing on electric cash anymore but then the money has moved to usdt so from usdt we now move the money from usdt to btc so that's another pair so you need to go search for that pair to see um what btcv works with so we go to market again and then you search for BTC, BTC, and then uh, it will show you what uh, BTC works with. So in this case, you can see BTC works with USDT. So we will now go and sell our U and buy our BTCV from our USDT. Can, as you can see at the top, and then now you just need to buy from USDT to btc so you just scroll until the end if you're taking everything or you can scroll halfway if you're taking part of it and then you just click buy btc and then this will show in your balances as well so i didn't click that because i don't want to do the actual buy but for you it will show as um as btc so now that you are have your btc you now need to withdraw from coinbene into your local bank account so you do need to check whether you're using luno or whether you're using altcoin and different countries have different one but we all use uh, btc somewhere so you go and add the address 
for BTC, that's Bitcoin. And then for me, I'm using Luno in South Africa. That's the um, currency exchange that connects to my local bank account. So I'll just add um, Lindy Luno as the name of this wallet. And then I'll go to my Luno account and sign in. And then I will enter my two-factor authentication because I did set that one up. Actually, I set this one for every crypto wallet that I I connect to because I know I need to protect myself. The world of crypto is very full of scams. So your BTC will appear here and then you will have some amount. For me now, I only have 18 Rand, which is this. So you just copy the wallet address for BTC because now you want to move your money from um, CoinBin into your BTC wallet for your local exchange and then you will enter the pin that you have set up when you are creating your CoinBin account. Now that the wallet address is added, we are ready to withdraw from um, CoinBin into our local uh, currency exchanger. So I will, um, ex I will add the amount that I want to withdraw, the pin and also um, two-factor authentication and my email and then I will click submit. Once you click submit, the money will go into the other uh, crypto exchange, your local crypto exchange. So now the money should be in your wallet, your, your local currency exchange. So you go to wallets if you're using Luno and then you go to BTC if the money went to BTC. So now you are in BTC um, and then you will see this is the amount that you want to withdraw into your local account. You just copy the whole amount if you want to withdraw everything and then you need to sell BTC into your local exchange. So for me it's my ZA which is rent. So I'll put the amount and then I will click next. But remember I don't have enough money so it will fail. But with you it will be successful. Now the money will move from your BTC and go into your ZA wallet. So the money now is erasing your ZA wallet. You just click withdraw. So you do need to add your local bank account. So this is my local bank account. And then you add your banking details, your account number and the country. If a Luno is in your country, you can also use Luno. So these are the banks that we have in South Africa and there's actually even more. So you can just select um, that bank. We even have Time Bank. So you can just also withdraw to that one as well. And then once you set up your, your, your bank account, your local bank account, you can just click uh, withdraw. And then after clicking withdraw, select the bank account and select the amount. You can just select everything and click next. And now you can select in rents because the money is converted from PTC to rents. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you now know how to withdraw money. Don't forget to subscribe and support me. And thank you so much for your support in this channel. And I hope you have yourself a good day.